consider f of x is 3x squared minus 2x. Find f of x plus h minus f of x. B, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. C, the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So f of x is 3x squared minus 2x f of x plus h minus f of x becomes 3 and instead of x now put x plus h all squared minus 2 times x plus h very careful use of brackets here minus all of 3x squared minus 2x make sure you use plenty of brackets now to expand this you need to use a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so applying it to that Leave the 3 out to begin with, so we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 3x squared plus 2x. Expanding this, uh, so the minus 2x and the 2x will cancel out, so we'll do that at that stage, make life easy. Taking 3 through that bracket, we're going to get 3x squared plus 6xh plus h squared minus 2h minus 3x squared. So 3x squared cancel out. And we get 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h as the final answer. Now, you might want to factorise out the h as well. Part B. f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So it's going to be the answer to the previous part, which is 6xh plus 3h squared minus 2h, all divided by h. Common factor of h, take it out. So if we take it out, we're going to get 6x plus 3h minus 2, divided by h, the h is cancel. And we're going to get 6x plus 3h minus 2. Now with the last part, we have to take the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h so that's going to be the limit as h goes to 0 6x minus 3x minus 2 now so what we do is we make h very very small that it comes so small that we can forget about it so we're just going to be left with 6x minus 2 as the final answer and what we found there we have actually differentiated 3x squared minus 2x by first principles to get 6x minus 2.